Hey guys, Dalka13, and today I will be reviewing the new Scaremaster Wave 2 line, Gigi Grant. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to hurry up with this review and get her out of the box. So I'm gonna show you her box pretty quickly because this girl is seriously gorgeous. This is my first Gigi. I did not get the 13 Wishes Gigi. I will get her eventually, I'm sure, but she's not in store, so I'm gonna have to order her. I'm gonna go over the back of the box. So you guys can pause and read if you like. Now I picked this Gigi up at Costco actually. I was shocked that they had her there. If you saw my um, toy hunting video, you will see that I picked her up along with some other ghouls. And for a great price of $14.99 plus tax. But Costco never has these girls. Not like this. Usually it's just like an exclusive pack. So I was shocked to find her but so delighted because... I have been looking for her and my Targets and my Toys R Us's have not been uh, stalking her so I have not seen her. So I was so thrilled that they finally had her. So here she is. Here is her art in the front. Adorable of course. Now this is the Scaremaster. So we have the whole school background going on there. We have the 3D pop out locker which is a nice touch inside the box there. And it looks like the hallways of Monster High and she comes with her little binder in hand and some cardboard books. That's pretty much it. And I showed you her artwork in the back already. Alright, so without further ado, I'm going to do some camera magic and pop her out of the box. And I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back and Gigi is all out of the box. Now as far as accessories goes, she does come with a stand, so that is excellent. She also comes with a basic black Monster High brush. She comes with this really pretty purse this binder since she is part of the Scaremaster line and you can pop this open and I probably put like a little piece of paper or something like that in there so it's just lined on the inside and has the little skullet detail there in the corner so just put that over there and she comes with this really nice book and it has a scorpion sign here in the front says her name Gigi Grant let me open it up this has some details about her, a schedule, cool stuff like that. Yeah, that's pretty much it for accessories, so now let's move on to Gigi. I love this girl. I think she is so sweet looking. She has such a sweet, innocent face with the way her eyebrows are kind of in that questioning look. And also she has a gorgeous little dimple on her chin. This girl is so cute. I just love it. Okay, so let's move on to her face. And also those freckles, they make her so sweet looking, I love it. Okay, so as far as makeup goes, she doesn't have too much makeup going on here. She has a little bit of pink there for an eyeshadow with a blue in the crease and a little bit of a shimmer above that. Her eyebrows are like a light brown, they're kind of in that question look. And she has some pretty lashes. And adorable freckles and what really stands out on her face is this like crazy blue lip color but it's so cool we're loving that now her hair I like this hair it's so much different than the original Gigi doll but it's a lot softer looking so it's in a half up half do hairstyle and the pink portion is the part that's up in the ponytail and then we have this gorgeous orange color that flows all the way down her back it's very long I'll just turn it around for you to see. And there we are. It's not too. It's not gelled at all. Actually, it's just pulled up in the uh, in the ponytail here. So if you want to let it go, all you have to do is untie it. But F, you know, it's very soft and no gel. Now her earrings are super awesome. They're so pretty. They're just all basic black, but they're just really pretty. Like I guess like a chandelier earring. With if you can see it there, there's little scorpion details on the earring. I thought that was so cool. Since you know Gigi is from the desert. And one thing I hadn't realized because this is my first Gigi doll, I didn't know she had all this like tattooing here on the doll. And that is so beautiful. I love that. You know, she's a genie after all and her like her skin mold or her body mold is so unique she has so many 
details all along her arms, like right here, and in the shape. And I love her fingers. They're so long and slender, and she has super, super long, fierce nails. And she has that same detail on her feet here. Those markings, I love that. That is so pretty. Okay, but back to her outfit. Her shirt is a black, like a like t-shirt material. And it has that gold scorpion style print on the front. And she has the blue sleeve here and the pink sleeve there. And then we move on to her skirt. And it is exactly the opposite of the sleeve. So it's like a crisscross design there. Super pretty. I love this skirt. Very nice. And this belt is so cool. This belt you can take off. This is a separate piece, but this belt is attached to the skirt. It's like a pleathery material here. And then we have this little plastic gold colored uh, belt buckle thing that's sewn on there. But this is removable. But this thing is so detailed. This like chain belt. I love it. And it has this design over here, which matches her earrings. So it's just really nice. And what really makes this outfit, I think, is these stockings. They are so pretty. They stop there at her ankles, but they're just such a nice pattern on them. I think those really make the outfit. And to top it off, she has these killer, killer, killer shoes. These are amazing. They're like totally scorpion inspired. The heel almost looks like the tail of a scorpion and the point going up here of his tail. And almost the same thing going on here in the front, like the body and the legs. These are just some epic, epic high heels. And we are loving those. I'm going to have to make a video. I said I'm going to make a top 10 video of my top 10 favorite dolls. And she might be squeezing her way into the top 10. But these shoes, I'm going to make a separate video of my top 10 favorite shoes. And these are going to be pretty high on the list because they are crazy cool. Now her purse is right here. It's gorgeous. It is, you know, incorporating all the three main colors of her outfit here. And we just pop this open and it does open, but it is very slender in there. So I do not know what you would fit in there. Perhaps a piece of paper. That's about it. But it's really cute and it just, you know, really makes her outfit. It goes together so well. So that's pretty much it for Gigi Grant. I mean, guys, this girl is so pretty. I would definitely say, you know, she's great to add to your collection. So sweet looking. And she's she's a very unique doll, I feel. I just love her. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked this doll review, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more doll videos. Some uh, doll hunting and doll reviews and just stuff like that. And also, you can follow me on Instagram. Alright guys, thank you so much. Bye-bye.